Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to quickly and easily split, break, or separate polylines and objects in AutoCAD. This is going to save you time as well. It's going to teach you a few quick tricks to do things a little bit more accurately in the future. Let's jump right into today's video and get started. All right, so a question that comes up a ton is how do I break or split up a polyline in AutoCAD? A polyline is created by typing PL and hitting enter. And what it is is a series of connected lines or arcs that create an object. So you can see here by typing uh, the A button to start the arc, I've gone from lines in my polyline to arcs. Now. Often people will want to break this or split it up later on. Maybe you want to add an entryway to your walls or something like that. So there are a ton of different ways to break up objects in AutoCAD. So we're going to take a look at five of the most common and useful ones in the video. With a cool trick to equally divide lines into segments and distances later on in the video. But to start, we're going to start with the most used probably command here, and that is the trim command. Now trim is going to split or trim an object between two other objects. So I'm going to show an example of that here. So I'm going to draw a couple lines here and say we want to trim this polyline here and we want to trim out this section in between these lines. This is where trim is going to come in super useful. You can activate that command by typing in TR and hitting enter and you can see when I hover over something it's going to trim based on the nearest object. So this is going to allow you to quickly and easily trim out different segments of your object clicking on any of these is going to then delete that highlighted piece. So you can trim objects between other objects or you can go and trim individual portions or segments of your object. So if we click right here, that is now trimmed out of our object and you can see we now have a polyline that has been split up. If it does break your polyline like this one here, selecting both pieces and typing in join and hitting enter will fix that right up. Again, that is TR to trim, and you can use it to delete segments or portions in between other objects. Sometimes I'll just quickly draw in some boundaries to make sure that it trims right where I'd like it to, but that is one easy and quick way to split up your polylines within AutoCAD. Now, the second one would be probably break, and this is going to do a similar job, but it's going to allow you to pick the exact start and end point of where you're splitting your object. Now, in the case of our example here, or this wall over here, if I type in BR to start the break command, you're going to select an object, and then it's gonna ask you where you would like to break it. So by default, the first point you click is the first part of the break, and the second point you click is the second part. Now, if you type in BR and choose the object, and then type in F and enter, that allows you to re-choose the first point. So if you just wanna pick your object quickly, and then you can type F to choose a more exact first point, say I wanna to snap to that corner there, then my second point can be anywhere along that polyline. It's gonna delete the segment in between. You can also use this command to click the same point and that will break an object in like in this example here. If I use BR to break, I select a straight line. It's gonna to wanna to remove a section, but if you choose first point and you click the same point twice, that's going to simply split it where you clicked with the point being the same spot for each one, but they are now two different split up objects. That may be the most useful one if you're simply just trying to break up a polyline into multiple pieces. However, if you have a polyline or polygon that has multiple segments, that would be multiple sides or different types like arcs and lines, and you'd like to break them all out into their individual segments, which may be useful sometimes, you can use another command, which we will get to right after this. 
Whether you're new to CAD Intentions or you've been following for a little while, you probably know that I have an AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course that is available for download right now. You can click the link up above or down below in the description to get my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course at a discount to you, the viewers and subscribers of CAD Intentions. This course has everything I've learned over 15 years packed into it. Each video is short and to the point, and it's going to teach you everything from start to finish you're going to get all of those different workflows that you would use AutoCAD for things like creating templates and title blocks to set up and start your drawing all the way to creating say site plans viewports layouts sheets adding external references adding text and dimensions things like plotting as well as packaging up your finished drawings and how to send them to a client all of this is covered in the course and again you can get that discounted up above and down below right now all right, so as I mentioned, if you'd like to break up a polygon or polyline into the individual segments, you're going to want to type in explode. Now this is going to explode or break up your object, but what it does is basically just separates each individual segment into their own object. So now you've got multiple objects that you can then modify, remove, or edit as needed. And again, if you want to join any of these back together, simply making sure all of the vertex points, these blue points, connect on each piece, you can then type in join and they will be reattached or joined back together. Now moving on, I've got two more super cool commands. One of them is the divide command. So say we have a single line here. So you can see I've removed this vertex points and join them. So I'm going to type R to remove. So we're back to a single line. If you'd like to divide or split up a line or object into equal parts. Now this can be a more complicated line. It can have multiple pieces. So let's just show it like this. I'm going to join these together. So now I've got a single line that has a bit of a a weird zigzag in it. If you'd like to divide this into equal spacing, you can use the divide command and select your object. And it's going to ask you how many segments. So say I'd like to split this into five segments. If I just type in the number five and hit enter, you can see it's placed points at equal distance to get five equal segments of our line. Now the somewhat annoying part of this is that it doesn't automatically break your line but what you can do is now use that break command or even better and our next command here the break at point command this one is super useful because you can select an object and now it simply wants to break at a specific point so you can see this point here is snapping it's a node and it's one of those divide points if i just click there it automatically breaks it at that point. You can hit enter, select the object again, snap to the point, hit enter, snap to the point, hit enter, select your object, snap to the point. So now I have five equal segments out of this line and it's done all that math and division for me quickly and in the background. Now, those are the quickest and easiest ways to split up, break, or separate individual objects from a polyline or a polygon. There is one more quick command, which I saved to the end here, and that is the measure command. That is going to do something similar. That is the measure command, and that is going to do something similar to the divide command, but instead of creating equal segments, it's going to create measured segments at a specific distance. So if we go in here and type measure and hit enter, you can select this object here and we're going to specify a length of a segment. So let's just call it two feet and hit enter. So now you can see that it's placed a point for us at every two feet within our object. Now this can be super useful if you're trying to grid or lay something out. Maybe you just want to split a part into equal one foot increments or inch increments. This is going to place all these points. So whether you're splitting your line up at those points or you simply need points to connect and draw, this is going to make things much easier. You've got all these kind of layout and grid points that you can then use 
the node snapping option to snap to or break things up or maybe just use them for reference to see say how many fence posts you're going to need on a property line you can split it up using these this measure command at say six or eight feet intervals select all of your points and when you bring up properties using control and one you can see how many points you've got you now know how many say fence posts you need in your property but that's all for today's video i hope you guys learned a couple cool tricks if you liked this video or any of my videos don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out my autocad fundamentals and workflows course i also have a weekly newsletter which will deliver these videos and a ton more tips directly to your inbox and you can check that out at the link down below as well thanks for watching cheers and have a good one